Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam Plays. I'm Sam, and today we are back with the next episode of our Happy Home Paradise series. So this will be episode five. Super excited to see what we are going to be doing today. I am loving Happy Home Paradise and just doing so many cool new things. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think or what villager you want me to try to do a home for next. So we're going to go ahead and fly to the archipelago and see who we find today. These have been super fun to do. A nice little break from trying to figure out what to do on my island. Um, I am a little behind on my island, so um, it's I've just been sort of binging this and it's been really nice, but I definitely do need to get started on my island if I want to do a winter one. <laughs> Um, so hopefully soon we'll be working on that um, and hopefully get it done pretty quick. Alright, Nico's telling us not to work too hard, but you know, I do what I do around here. Let's go see what Lottie and Wardell are up to. Okay, Lottie's not here. <laughs> oh, there's Lottie. She's thinking. Oh, I startled her. What's going on, Lottie? Yes. Yes, I have. Interesting. Ooh, facilities. Okay. A school. Oh, okay. So she's going to do some paperwork. Oh, this will be a lot of fun. Keep growing the clients first. Got it. Alright. Now we can start getting ready for work. Yes, I'm ready to work. Let's go see who we have out here, see if anybody fun is out and about. Alright, so we have a place surrounded by riches, uh, stage ready with a green room, okay, that's interesting, a home arcade, uh, one of the big fancy movie stars, okay. Furniture that's stylish and functional. I keep seeing her. Hers seems like a mellow type of build, but I'm curious what furniture we would get in this build. So I think we're going to do it. We're, we're going to do it. I don't really know what island I want. I kind of have an idea of the island I, I want to do with this one. Um, a stylish but functional spot. Oh, that's new furniture. Hmm, okay. I think I want to give her one of those with the p the pillars, but we'll see. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, that would be cute. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this one. All right, so let's take Gloria here to her home and see what she thinks of it. Hopefully she likes it. I love the little alley, um, like river that goes through it. It's super cute. All right, let's get going on this build. So as usual, I start in the house and I sort of get rid of all the furniture. And then I will start with the wallpaper and the floors. These little fruit walls are super cute. I keep waiting for kitchen items and I'm like not getting that many so we're gonna see find out what happens I'm trying to pick a pattern these yellow flowers are super cute Go with a little bit of a yellow theme here. Pick a cute, sort of making like a studio apartment situation, I think, for this one. This little clothing rack is super cute. I thought it'd be, I thought it would make a decent divider, but it just looked a little awkward. So we're gonna put one of these partitions in the middle there. I thought pink would be fun to kind of bounce off of the yellow here. This is like all the kitchen stuff I have to work with, so trying to figure out one that would look okay was really hard, but we're just rolling with what we got. put some cute just little accents here and there like I really want to use this thing <laughs> like I really want to I had to try a little bit of different things to, to use and try and I kind of liked the dividers of like a bedroom and then like a little seating area and then like a kitchen area. I just wish I had better kitchen stuff. 
I'm not picking the right houses for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just gotta work on that. I'm gonna put the white rug back. And then I got all these little shelves, so I figured I would put some cute plants and things like that to make it super cute and, you know, things girls put in their room. And then some beverages and food items. then we do the wall stuff so usually I really have no idea what I put on the walls I just sort of go with what I think looks okay I really just wing it half the time so some planters up and a little picture by my bed and yeah add a couple lights and there we go I think it's super cute the yellow and the peach the pink so that is the inside and we're gonna work on the outside here so I thought like a cute little pink house would be cute if I can make the colors sort of work. <laughs> so picky. Okay, I like that actually. So that actually worked out really nicely. Um, bridges. I wish we could move the bridge. I wish we could terraform, to be honest. Like, I wish we could terraform the water a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm really surprised we cannot customize the bridges and make them like different colors because that bridge has like a really cute white would be super cute. So placing some trees. Cute pink bushes. Just making it just sort of really cute. Nothing like crazy in the yard. trying to see if I can fit a tree on that like island and I cannot so we're gonna try doing some fun like decorations and seeing what we can put over there some vines a few weeds Moving some of these flowers around. And then a little cute table and chair set. I thought that would just be super cute for her.
and naturally I have to put something on the table usually so I was looking to find anything I could put over there but nothing really caught my eye so we're gonna move some of these vines around and I'm gonna actually change it to spring and there we go her house is finished just made it super sweet and cute And let's find let's look at the final montage. <laughs> Hers would be one. I think I would also redo uh, once we get like the room expansions. There's a lot that I think I could really do with our house, but I have, I just sort of worked with what I had and this is what I had, so <laughs> I wish we had statues, like I wish we had the art statues, or at least, I don't know if we do, but um, I don't have it yet, if that's even something we get, because I want, I would have loved to put a statue on that island. All right, we're gonna go in and take a picture. I think your house turned out super cute. And we're gonna try to figure out the best picture for me to get here. Look yeah, at Gloria just sitting on the couch. She knows what's up. It's like trying to get the best picture to show everything, but sometimes it's just not going to work that way. And for my pictures, I don't like when there's black around the edges. Um, I'm like super picky on that. And in this one, it's just sort of not going to happen. <laughs> um, like I try, but... And this is kind of the closest I can get. <laughs> and I'm pretty satisfied, I think, with that last one compared to the first one. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. And that is it. All right, more pokey. Go talk with Nico. Where is Nico? And I guess we will go find him.
I wonder if he's by his boat. Oh, he is. Yo. <laughs> Alright, so what do we need to talk about? Oh. Okay. It's a message in a bottle. Sweet. So we can start getting like DIYs and stuff here too. So that's really cool. I know I've definitely been slacking on the DIY front. Of all the new items. So this will be helpful. A lot about DIY recipes. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Alright, and that is it for this episode. Hopefully Gloria loves her house. Um, hopefully we can go back and redo it soon. I think she totally deserves that, so... We got a glowing moss stool. Oh, that looks really cool. Some items here. All of the Thanksgiving items. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!